Click. Welcome back to Head. Shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. I'm a ghoul, and I say that human flesh is sacrilegious. Where's that Cedric the Owl? Why did you do that? I'm going to come in his face. Ooh, now that you've clicked. Watch out, that's a poisonous ghoul. Now that everybody that's not a regular has clicked off of this video and will never look again, welcome to Quest for Glory 2, Trial by Fire, and fuck them. <laughs> but. Figuratively. And literally, in the face, with a big dick. <laughs> See, kids, when I'm tired, I get real sassy. <laughs> and it's not like you've worked 16 hours and then had to get up at 6 in the morning. Uh-huh, and then did this because this is the one thing that brings me joy. <laughs> Which isn't true. I like my job a whole lot. Like uh, I'm being We're absolutely having a really good life right facetious. Now. Let's throw rocks at the stars. But you're just really tired. Actually, I'm not even really tired anymore. I'm just like, eh. I took a nap while I was waiting. I ordered chilies, and it was disappointing. Ah. And I was so mad because the chicken was not done enough for me. I like my my chicken strips to actually be done, not watery tarts. See, I ate there today, too, with mom and dad. <gasps> Ooh, lots of them. Oh, are you going to be able to use the number five and kick? Oh. Oh. I mean, I'm sure. Ooh. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> Ninja. Oh. Chris. <laughs> Ow! Um, but my, I got the margarita grilled chicken, and my chicken, I had one of the breasts there that was like completely, like rubbery, like I couldn't Ugh. even chew it, like it was that, like tough. Ooh, we did the new move. Did you see him do the overhead swing? That is cool. So we got, we must have got to 150 weapon use. Well, you're down. What, 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 come on, boys. Let's make a pile of dead bodies. Come on, boys. Let's go. I know you're giving me some time to get back some of my stamina, but let's go. It's time to chop off your penis. If you have one, you're some type of jackal goat monster man. I don't know. What oh, my Lord. Say. Now, come on. Let's go. He's like, well, maybe we don't want to fight you. <laughs> he said he's going to cut off my dick. I guess I'll try. I'm done having kids anyways. I jumped over your sword swing, bitch! Ouch! I jumped over your sword swing! Oh shit! <laughs> Critical hit! Uh, get away. Uh, I tried. <laughs> get away. <laughs> now, sir, let me kill you. I promise you that your time will come and you can... Oh, so it's it's seven it's seven nine sevens how you do that. So it's a three hit combo now. That's cool. We need to go teach you her a lesson. <laughs> Come on, guys. Dun, Don't dun, dun. all night because we got to talk to someone at the end. I know. I mean, you do, you do know at midnight you're supposed you can have conversation at the end, right? Did you? Yeah. Uh, I mean, you can have conversations like riding the wild mouse. You want to ride the wild mouse, Chris? Does anyone know about that story? No, they don't. Oh. And that's what makes it even funnier when everything that we do is some type of it's inside, just our inside joke. joke. And these people are like, what the hell are they talking about? It's like, we've been doing these same jokes for seven years, and it's just like, just like Anthony and I, we had our jokes too that we used to do. And they'd be like, what the hell are they talking about? He kicked the wrong way. Hero. Uh, mm. Bonk. That is very satisfying, by the way. The kick. Yeah. Bonk. <laughs> and it does some damage to you. See, and now that I have the three hit combo, if, if I miss with the first, I still get him twice. And our stamina, like, hardly is even getting affected now because that three hit combo doesn't take very much. I wish I could flip like that, Jackal. I know, I would, like, totally do it. Oh dear God! <laughs> His life just—he—he—he's yeah. just like he's made. Okay. He's not even trying. <laughs> <laughs> I regret 
said nothing. <laughs> They're like, he can't use this magic. Get him. Oh, ow, she hurts. <laughs> Gee willikers, dude. I'm going to be the one to get him. He's tired. I got him. Ow. He might. My head. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Although he is being a little bit... Oh, 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 I just split his skull open. Why can I see my brains? <laughs> is there a sloth drink over there? Does he got any of them cigarettes? Because I really freaking need them. <laughs> Ooh, you're all going to be broke because he's going to steal all your money. I'm not giving you a fucking cigarette. You're not going to be able to pay for the ferryman to go to. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's, uh, first off, let's, um, let's just be a butt. that's part of this game, too, is this game series. Not this specific game, but the ferryman is a real person, isn't he? Oh, the, I know, is that King? That's King's Quest. Oh, King's Quest. Well, it's in the universe, I think, in my mind. Oh, I can buy one thing of magic mm -hmm. pills now. Okay, well, that's enough. That was fun. <laughs> Let's check. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> so our weapon just didn't get to one fifth. Maybe I could use it all the time and I just like start pressing buttons and figure it out. Even our throwing's gone up. I'm so proud of our hero. We did good here, this is what I think of your stinky bodies that I've already caught on fire and looted. Okay, what time is it? <gasps> we better be going back. Oh, watch us miss it. That battle took so long. In the heat of the night. It was a good show. Mm -hmm. Archie Bunker playing that. <laughs> Archie? What? Let's sing that song, Archie. Ah, uh, e e B Diamond. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to rewatch that just because of how horrible it is. All right, let's see if this is true. <gasps> it is. Good evening, hero friend. Unfortunately, the kitchen is already closed, but if you are thirsty, we would be honored to share some of our herbal tea with you. Let's sit our happy ass down. This is such a nice game. <laughs> Bottom of all, talk about adventures. You tell Shamin and Shima about your hometown of Willsby. It sounds like a very nice place to live. Of course, such places are hardly suitable for adventurers who wish to be heroes. You've already told them that story, hero. <laughs> <laughs> you ask Shamin and Shema about how about how and why they came to Spielberg. This month, it is exactly a year ago since the old Emir of um, Razir vanished, and his successor drove our people away from their home. When the fate of our kinsmen reached the Sultan, he immediately sent his army to set this injustice right. Unfortunately, his men never reached the gates of Razir. As they crossed the desert, a storm of sand came up out of nowhere and decimated the troops. The Sultan did not think this was a coincidence. There was talk that the storm was magical in nature and was conjured up. The Sultan has always been deeply concerned about the situation, but has not sent any more men for fear of losing them all. All he has been able to do is shelter those who fled or were driven from the city. The hope of the Caddo was now resting on a prophecy that foretold the restoration of the city at the hands of a hero. I am that hero. And I guess that's all I can talk about. Bottoms up. Let us have a drink to our homeland, then. May it have many more adventures in store for you, and much good fortune in store for all of us. You spend a short time making small talk with your friends while sharing Shima's delicious herbal tea. You get 20 points. Hero friend, Shima and I shall be retiring for the night. May you dream of all the adventures still awaiting you and all the rewards to come from them. All. That's nice. That's why I like about. Oh, kitty! Well, time to go take a shit. You should. In your trash can? <laughs> yeah. And <laughs> can I catch it on fire? Oh. 
I hope I didn't lose honor for that. Oh, I gained honor for going with them. <laughs> That's fitting. That's what it should be. All right, since we're getting ready to start a new day. Well, that was a great episode. <laughs> uh, goodbye, everybody. Wait, what? He's only making 10 minute videos now. It's just like YouTube in 20, 2005. <laughs> now, back then it was three minute videos. You're not allowed to have new time. This LP is going to be 700 episodes. <laughs> And the first episode's gonna be about my doom cake. Back when you could get ad revenue. <laughs> yeah. Hero friend, a most strange fire has been seen outside the inn. Take care as you leave. What? We didn't start the fire. But Billy Joel will never write it again, even though he did a new song that comes out next week, and I'm gonna puke. Excitedly? Or... Yes, excitedly. Okay. I was like, he can't be that bad. Ah, that is indeed quite a tale, my friend. <laughs> I'm just you not just going to tell told you. told me. We're raising. Spielberg. Rumor? <laughs> Give me breakfast. The inn's decor looks and feels perfectly Persian. Like a Persian cat. I know, like, everything, everybody's outside's, like, melting and dying, but... Mm. Hey, a hero can't hero until he's had his breakfast. I have to make sure this thing lasts, like, 73 episodes for real life. No, just kidding. <laughs> the cat of merchants could not set up in the plaza outside because of the fire this morning. Have you heard there's a fire? Did you know about the fire? Make thief sign. <laughs> you transform... <laughs> Your breakfast was sacrilegious. You've already done that this episode. I did with my zombie head, your ghoul head, I'm sorry. head, Hedy Lamar. Fire sale today. I sell you real wood burned by real fire elemental. Be the first on the block to own this. Why are you here? Too bad his stall didn't burn down. <laughs> it did. Like all the way. <laughs> Oh, oh, ooh, there we go. The fire elemental. He burned it down in this place. I guess maybe he know like a souvenirs. He just doesn't like you. Hey, I'm walking here. Sorry, boss. All I got is a bunch of butt to wood. Well, why are you here? Why am I getting offended by this? <laughs> what? He's selling charcoal. Let's see here. I plan on doing some things today that I can do. Uh huh. So we can't do that yet because he doesn't show up. But with a big old butt. Got the butt to talk to talk. Oh wait, I need a. And I cannot lie. And your other brothers can't deny that I clicked on the wrong place, which means we don't go. Dude, there's like a fire. You're like, I'm addicted to pain pills. I need more mana. <laughs> I actually do. <coughs> oh, yes. Most interesting. You're supposed to like not be an ass. Because I can't buy it yet. Listen here, Turd Ferguson. <laughs> Maybe because we haven't seen the fire? I've been told that the teeth of a dragon are very useful for components. But I have never been fortunate enough to find it in. Because mm. I never leave this room. Well, it would be at the, around the end. He doesn't even know where the end is. He's like, I think. That's because he's never left this room. Well, this is asking. Let's ask about fire. Oop, no. Fire? Fur. There we go. See how the flames react to incense? Fire is attracted to things it burns because it is very vain. Now I must get back to my work. If you see something that interests you, let me know.
My knowledge of such things is scarce. Hmm. I keep clicking on the... My mouse sucks. I need a new one. Hmm. So I still... No, nope, that's telling. I need to ask. This incense is made from the finest frankincense. It should attract the flame as the moth is attracted to it. It's only 70 centimes. Even though this might save the city, I still have to make a buck. Bargain! Oh, very well. You may take the incense. Yeah, you get more points if you bargain it. And he gives it to you for free! Yay! Can I give you that head? <laughs> Would you like a head? You can have this. How do you get a head in here? Oh, your valor in the face of the dreaded ghouls is impressive. My supply of claws is almost complete. But I will yet purchase two more. I will never need money again, really, though, after we beat the first elemental. Would you like head? You gotta put the head in the bag. What's in the box? Oh, wait. I know what you do with it. I remember now. After I've already probably been told by this point. <laughs> Everyone's like, you're not doing it right! <laughs> you dumbass! <laughs> <laughs> You've never played Quest for Glory ever! Even though I've been playing it since I was seven. Which has been a long time. I, thanks, Adam. <laughs> My spear arm is getting tired of just holding Simba. Good thing for you, too, if we practice today. I'll kick your ass. <laughs> I know a new move. I do. Do, do, do. This make very fine wall trophy. Asante, hero of Spielberg. So, yes, it will become a thing on the wall later. Yay. Oh, thank uh, God. Uh, do you know how to do that now? We already did it. <laughs> we need a pillows? What do you want? You are a poo-poo brain. I beat you once. Half a dollar, please. <laughs> Fifteen cents. <laughs> wow. Now, how broke am I? Oh, I got communication. Throw daggers. Mm. <laughs> Ow. I have two, right? Oh, I have three. You bought three, yeah. Well, I don't know what I do. Okay, I still have plenty of money. Okay, let's... Throw dagger. He won't arm wrestle me. Because you've already Because I beat him. What a poop. And he doesn't what want to a lose turn. Again. Wah, wah. Someone call the wambulance. I'm a big whiny baby. Someone give me a nipple to suck. <laughs> Rip door off hinge. <laughs> I think she would kill us. Welcome, sex cat. Come in, sit down, and we shall speak. Boop. I have much to say. I have no mouth, yet I must scream. Mm -hmm. Shall we share tea? I mean, I do a lot of that. The answer is yes. Isn't that what I said? Yes. What did she say? I don't know. I didn't read it because you couldn't. The tea is cool and refreshing. You find yourself relaxing as this you drink and... This is a narration. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Apologize. What did I do? Ah. Did we screw up? Do we need to... That is something I knew very little about. Mm. Do we have to... 
do this thing because we screwed her up? No, I don't think so, unless I lost honor. Why are you being a poo-poo head? I don't know. Maybe everyone's just the tide of the sass. <laughs> I may not be able to do it yet because it's not really shown up. It's like hopping around. Yeah. So we'll uh, blah, blah, blah a little bit here with this stuff to make her feel important. Useful. You gotta let them talk. Well, now it was a pleasure, so we're good. Oh, fuck. Better check you didn't lose your honor. Well, if I did, I'll go back to that last save. Yay. You bring honor to us all. No, I'm close to where I want to go anyway. You're not close enough. I'll show you who's close enough. That don't even make sense. Are there going to be clowns? Maybe silly ones. Just standing in the woods. Ugh. Okay, I'm going the right way. Good guess. You're not quick enough. I'll show you quick enough. <laughs> I have to go over here anyway because I have to get something else. Because I got it when I was looking around for that thing that I couldn't do. I do love all the different street merchants, but weren't we told that they weren't able to set up because of the fire elemental? Well, yeah. There's scribbles on the wall. Yeah, I thought that originally there was a... Did I miss my chance to get the pizza box? Oh, no. I don't really care if I didn't. Yeah, because it's not on it. Because I don't have it yet, I don't think. Nope. Because I got it in that other one. Oh, well. We'll look around for it later. I don't really care right now. Let me check my stats. Magic is pretty high. But I won't waste a mana potion yet. Don't step into the void. Stepped into the void. You've entered a very strange place. The path you walk upon seems to be carved from ivory. The walls around you seem carved of marble. Between the walls and the path is a gap through which you view total darkness when you look down. When you look up, you see the same limitless black. You have a funny feeling you aren't in Shapir anymore. You've been walking through halls hung with the portraits of many wizards. At last, you come to some pictures that you recognize. You hear several voices. Who are, Who are you? you? Oh. I was doing them together. Go ahead. I was doing it together because oh, it's voices. Who, Who are, are you that, that enter the, the lofty portals, portals of the Wizards Institute of Technosory? Cedric. <laughs> Why have you sought to enter into the Wizards Institute of Technosory? Uh, Why did we go to To be to kill Cedric. A hero. Oh. oh. Ow. What did they say they don't accept? I should have said magic. Oh, we're gonna try again. You just saved, you could just reload. Good point. I will! Fuck you, game. That never happened. A door appears. Suddenly, a door appears. I hit the wrong button. Not wasting magic. Shh. We're, I, I want that. <laughs> 
Sí. Weren't you just here? In an alternate reality. Who, Who do, do you call, call upon to be your sponsor and mentor in these hollowed halls of the Wizards Institute of Go Fuck Yourself? I call upon Cedric. The Dark One. <laughs> that is not an appropriate sponsor. <laughs> um, actually, I don't... I, no, I thought it... The, the Dark Lord. Um, I thought that's what you could put. I have to go back and where I can look and see, I guess. Pretty sure that that's a way that you can die. Maybe we could do some classic people. Well, Houdini's over there. I like Merlin. God, this guy again. Even though we don't really know that he was here because we've... I choose not to answer. Portrait shows Harry Houdini. Houdini, you press the digitator. I'm a bit tied up for the moment. The name is you. Excuse me. You must choose another sponsor. Adavis. <laughs> yes. Adavis, Wizard of the Southern Sands, Enchanter of the Elements. Do you accept sex cat? So a uh, wannabe wizard seeks me for a master. I'm not interested in half trained novices. However, should you actually become a wizard, you might be of use to me. There is much I can teach you. Until that time, find someone else to paper train you. Arana. To our regret, she has not answered our summons for many years. Merlin. That's sad. Have we met? Uh, uh... Oh, crap. No, no, because that's who actually does it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh oh. No. I want to restore. Oh my buzz, god. Buzz, buzz. My god. <laughs> this won't work. Because I want. There's. You can die. That's why I'm literally like. Sorry, folks. You I want to. died in a couple. Of I want to do what I want to do, and I'm, I'm too stupid to do it. I just want to die in the game. I don't know why. I forgot that. Like showing death is part of the fun stuff. Oh my god, he's here again. What about that blank? That's the one that's the death. Oh, okay. I cannot pass judgment. Oh, that's you. I cannot pass judgment upon the candidate until I've worked with him for some months. I am unwilling to have someone I do not know well as my initiate. You must choose another sponsor. That's Zara from Spielberg. Outside of the few spells I gave him, I have no knowledge of his skills or abilities. I will not accept responsibility for him. <gasps> Ooh, impertinence! Is it ignorance or folly behind that decision? Are you aware of who you are requesting to train you? The one you are referring to has been exiled from the Wizards Institute of Technosery, and he will not be able to train you here! Did you abide with your decision? Yes. If you are truly so eager to practice the forbidden arts, go ahead and seek out this individual on your own. You are no longer welcome here. Go! Be gone! Oh! Apparently, you're now in the land where this mysterious magician resides. It seems the Wizards of Wit didn't really go out of their way to pick a pleasant place for you to appear. Is this, like, the fourth game? It is, yes. In fact, they may have very well chosen the worst landing spot. Where are the little fairy children spirits? 
With your current skills, there's no way you can survive in a hostile environment like this. Now you know why Quest for Glory 3 didn't take place here. Okay, we'll do it for real. Yay. I love the sound effects. Didn't we just kill him? How does he get back here all the time? Maybe we should train him. There's a moment of silence. Do you actually request such a... a whimsical wizard to be your sponsor? It was the choice he made. But you know what Erasmus is like. Do we have to endure his sense of le levity? It was the Initiate's decision. Let him abide with it. Very well. Magister uh, Erasmus of Zauberberg. Zauberberg. Archmage extraordinaire. Do you accept Sax Cat to be your initiate into the Wizards Institute of Techno Sorcery? You hear the familiar voice of Erasmus. Let me see, Sax Cat. Ah, yes, the young hero who was so bright. You hear the squeaky voice of Fenris. You think anyone who laughs at one of your jokes to be intelligent? A good sense of humor is an excellent indicator of superior intellect. Yes, but the keyword is good. <laughs> Erasmus, do you or do you not accept him? I, uh, Magister Erasmus of Zauerberg, do hereby accept Saxcat as my initiate for wit. Uh, of course, uh, now you, Spielberg, before you can be initiated to wit. Wizards Institute of Techno Sorcery. Whatever. You must first prove that you are magically and mentally worthy. You will be presented with a choice of three objects. Using the spells at your command, you must choose the correct object, move it to the stand, and cause it to ring using only three spells. The choice of the first two spells should be self-evident, and the third is also... Erasmus. Oh, all right. Well, good luck, young hero, and remember the joke about the man who grew more mellow as he grew balder. <laughs> he no longer had hair-brained schemes. No, he had longer... He no longer had such hair-triggered temper. Erasmus. Very well then, young hero. Please step into the dark room. Purely a formality. Don't worry about the thing. Ouch! My forehead! Ouch! My back! <laughs> you hear cracking as his back snaps. You find yourself in a strange place. For some reason, you cannot move your feet. Although you see nothing constraining them, a strange feeling passes through you as though someone were examining you closely. A strange pulling sensation. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have to do three things. So we have three spells we can use. So we have detect magic. So we know which bell to use. And then we are going to cast fetch on... Which one is fetch? Do I not have fetch? I was like, I thought it was fetch. You take fetch... And then you cast Trigger. Erasmus! Fenros. Razzle dazzle. Very good, Saxcat. You have shown yourself very capable in figuring out the spells needed for the pretest. However, before you can be considered a true wizard, you must pass the trial of initiation, which the Wizards of Wit will give you. I warn you, this test will take all of your wits and magical skill in order to succeed. If you succeed, you will then face... But I can say no more. Say no more. So, hero, good luck. Promises, promises. You said you would say no more. <laughs> promises, promises. Oh, Fenris. Good luck, sex cat. Ouch! <laughs> You have shown yourself to be resourceful in your use of spells under simple conditions. 
To become a wizard, you must prove that you are capable of using magic under time, critical, and life-threatening conditions. You will be presented with a series of R4 tests. They will require all your intelligence and magic. Should you fail, your very life may be endangered. Will you accept the challenge and walk the path of wizardry? I really just want to sure. be a paladin. <laughs> what is all this? <laughs> I'm walking. You find yourself walking on a narrow pathway leading to the edge of infinity. You hear only your own footsteps. I'm walking on sunshine. Wow! Yeah, wow, wow. It's time to feel good. You must now stand into the wind. Can I, like, do anything yet, please? Razzle dazzle. <sighs> A new save. Okay, it's coming towards us, and then... Levitate. Whoop! Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, I got caught in it. You were on top of it. Oh, well, that's why I saved. 3D's hard to see when it's actually just 2D. <laughs> right. What? Whee! Yeah, it's sucking him back down, that's why. There we go. You have passed the test. Piece of cake. Walking on sunshine. Save the game. It's time to feel good. That song's just pure serotonin. You must now face raging earth and stone. I am a robot. Earth, wind, and fire. You won't like my music. I'm going to cast trigger. People get triggered all the time. You're a Karen now. <laughs> I will now calm you, Karen. Here's the manager. Climb over. I, <laughs> I win. He wasn't posing as a cheeser. Uh-oh. I don't remember that part. Uh-oh. Oh no. You I should have cast calm again. You always hear voices. I do. There's a, in my head going, Kill them all. Wait a minute. You must not feel really to go to turn. You just passed through a door. Okay. Let's do this. I am now Karen. I am now Sleepy Karen. Tea. I'm now going to step on you. Like a, a good manager should. Better calm that Karen down before she tells Yelp about there you. There you go. No more Yelp reviews. You will like what you see. Okay. Oh uh, my god. Oh. My haircut. Why is my coffee taste good? <laughs> You must now overcome the subtle strengths of water and ice. That was our favorite puzzle level in um, <laughs> the game that shall not be named. Mm -hmm. Pew. Ow. <laughs> you seem to have melted the hoarfrost. Now you can see that the iceberg is fractured. Mm. What kind of fraction? Like one half? Two thirds? Ooh. It's weakness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think we should be friends, Iceberg. There we go. I just wasn't clicking in the exact right place. Pixel perfect. Okay, and then use open. Bye-bye. It's the fire wizard. You must now withstand the fury of my flames. 
<laughs> okay. Pew, pew, pew. Okay, so we have fire and a door. Let's cast open. Backdraft. <laughs> Time to <laughs> calm the fire. Using a Ron as calm spell, it's gonna work. Then we're gonna use... The flames have died down only to remove a hole burned into the pathway. Oh, no. A pathway hole. We're gonna close that door. Say so you figured this out, you're playing by ear. And then we're gonna use a force bolt and knock it over. Knock it over. Mm. You're not close enough. Knock it over. Maybe in the top. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Adam. <laughs> You're at wit's end. Please let me say no, because I want to do the... <clears throat> We're not doing the ending, because I'm not doing all that again. You have proven yourself worthy of the Wizards Institute of Techno Sorcery and Erasmus's faith. Congratulations. You are now a wizard initiate. Now you have outgrown the childish hero business and can devote yourself to years of metaphysical musings and aesthetic exercises designed to invigorate your intellect and to manipulate your mental and magical muscles. You have passed this day from the lesser mortal plane into the realm of wizards. You are now qualified to begin your postgraduate magical training. In 15 or 20 years, you will be ready to return to the world of mere men. Until that time... You will bask in the sunshine and security of academia, knowing you shall receive the best of all possible educations. Ahead of you, you are the wonders <laughs> of wizardry. Behind you are all the petty problems inherent in the mundane land. You have passed beyond those weaklings who depended on your skills and dared to call you friend. You will now learn the real magic of the Wizard Institute of Technosory, knowledge gained through careful study. Walk away from the world of those fools who claim they need you. You are more than just a hero now. You are a scholar with tons of debt from <laughs> student loans. You have only to take the oath that you will ignore and forget about those who said they need you in the land of Shapir and devote yourself to the improvement of your mind and magic. Will you take the oath? Well, it won't let me save, so no. Well, it's obvious you think being a hero is more important than being a scholar. Perhaps someday, when you have matured a bit, you will comprehend the enormity of the education you have ignored. The Wizards Institute of Techno Sorcery is for real wizards rather than the real world. You hear the voice of Erasmus again. Congratulations, Wizard Saxcat. You have shown exceptional intelligence by refusing to take the silly oath. After all, what good is magical knowledge unless you use it? My graduation present for you is the reversal spell. You may recall the kobolds you suffered against you in Spielberg. I should have gave it to you in that game, but I didn't. Cast reversal and magic attacks directed to you will rebound to their caster. But take care, it will not help against the indirect effects of other spells. You feel the thrill of knowledge. Now you know how to cast the spell of reversal. You should now return to Shapir. They really need a real wizard hero like you there. And remember, those who can, do. <laughs> those who can not tell others what to do. Fenris, when is a rat not a rat? When it turns it into its rat hole. No, when it's eradicated. What did the rat say as he fell 12,000 feet straight down? It's a long way to tip a ratty. Or maybe cheese it. I swiss I hadn't gone this way. Oh, all right. What did the rat say? I'm not sure either, but I know a way to find out. Care to volunteer? I guess I blew it. <laughs> I'd better be good up for a while. All right. Right, at any rate, was it you? Good luck and farewell! <laughs> well, that was fun. I don't know the day that that take. It's just days dawning. Nothing. 
we got a, we got a little smarter while we were in there. Our honor went up because we chose to stay. Yeah, it went up by two points. All right, when we come back, fire elemental. Yay! Bye, everybody. Bye. The heat is on.